Okay, today we're going to be making uh, sugar skulls. Um, and to give you a little idea about sugar skulls, so sugar skulls are images um, uh, usually uh, used for Day of the Dead um, to represent family members or to represent uh, those that have been lost. Um, and so there's different styles, as you can see. Um, so what we are going to do is you may use the one that I have made for you or you can create your own. So I have one for you in Google Drawing, and that's what I would like you to work on. Um, but if you would like to create your own, uh, you can use Sketchpad uh, to create your own, and that would, uh, won't bother me at all. Uh, there's some really good printable ones. There's good examples that you can use. Uh, so just take your time and find one that you like, and then decorate it however you feel fit for your family, uh, or however your style works. So here's an example of one that I did. Um, and so I want to be able to show you how it's going to work from here. So I'm, I drew this out for you already in Sketchpad and then saved it as a JPEG and then loaded it into uh, Google Drawing. Um, I like using Google Drawing for these types of things because they're easier to do, um, especially adding images. So if you search the web, um, you can find like if you have someone in mind that you're thinking of, um, like me for my grandma, her favorite flower was tulips. So if I search tulips, it'll give me an idea. Um, I can so, go through um, and find ones. But remember, if you use the word transparent here, you can uh, do better because it'll allow you to uh, find exactly the image that you're looking for. Like I like this one maybe, and I'll insert it and it's a good spot to be right up here on the top of the head and um, all I have to do is drag it from the corners and make it small enough to fit in the spot that I'm looking for and I think that that actually would work really well right between the lines right here and use my uh, marker to get it centered Half shift over looks good. All right, so then you can you want to create different things so you can put different flowers like sunflowers are also one of her favorites. Um, so I could insert for the eyes. Um, I could search the web for transparent sunflowers. Uh, and put in a transparent sunflower. Actually, I think I'll put this one down on the chin. And I'll show you how to do that like that one. So I'll insert it. It'll take up a big space um, when it comes in. And then I'm going to drop it down super small. I'm going to put it on the chin, but I only want half of it to be on the chin. So to uh, with that little leaf on there, uh, good. And then to get rid of that, I double click on the picture and I get black lines around it. And then I can slide that picture up. Oops, let me undo that one. Got to get that black line to move. Hopefully I did it right. There it is. And then I can click off of that image and then slide it up so it just fits like that on the bottom of the skull. Um, so what you want to do is create it, add color, add as much as you want to it, um, and as many flowers and different things uh, and colors that resemble what you're, you're looking for or that remind you of the person that you are thinking of. So I will allow you to work on that one. And when you finish, uh, you're going to turn that in in Google Classroom. Um, and again, the idea of what we're looking for is right here. Um, so if you want religious symbols, you can do that. Uh, different curls, different flowers, you can draw all those um, with uh, even in uh, right here in drawing, you can add those. So all right, so have fun. Um, and, and you can even insert shapes which are all right here. So if you have shapes or different things that you want to uh, add in, um, you can uh, find those and do things like that. And if you want to do transparent like crosses, uh, you can find those things. All right, so hope you have fun, enjoy it. I look forward to seeing some of your work.